Tonight, live from the Grand Sierra Resort, set in the stunning backdrop of Reno Tahoe, Nevada, history will be made. 51 beautifully competent women representing the country will descend upon the Grand Theater stage. Only one of these incredible women will be crowned Miss USA. And now, please welcome your 2023 Miss USA contestants. Brzezinski, Alabama. Jordan Naylor, Alaska. Candace Canaval, Arizona. Mackenzie Hinderberger, Arkansas. Tiana Clark, California. Ariana Lemus, Colorado. Carla Aponte Roque, Connecticut. Noah Mills, Delaware. Cassie Ballou, District of Columbia. Caroline Dixon, Florida. Rachel Russo, Georgia. Savannah Gankowitz, Hawaii. Hannah Menzner, Idaho. Samantha Elliott, Illinois. Haley Jordan, Indiana. Grace Lynn Keller, Iowa. Haley Berger, Kansas. Madeline Kinnett, Kentucky. Sylvia Masters, Louisiana. Juliana Morehouse Locklear, Maine. Savannah Mushinge, Maryland. Anika Sharma, Massachusetts. Alexis Fagan Williams, Michigan. Sarah Anderson, Minnesota. Sydney Russell, Mississippi. Autumn Black, Missouri. Maddie Rigg, Montana. Mimi Wood, Nebraska. Josie Stevens, Nevada. Brittany Lane, New Hampshire. Derby Chakudi, New Jersey. Bianca Wright, New Mexico. Rochelle D'Astasio, New York. Jordan McKee, North Carolina. Moni Neribo, North Dakota. Mackenzie Shutt, Ohio. Liv Walbeck, Oklahoma. Manju Bangalore, Oregon. Jasmine Daniels, Pennsylvania. Mary Malloy, Rhode Island.
Kirby South, South Carolina. Amber Hulse, South Dakota. Reagan Ringler, Tennessee. Juvia Alsate, Texas. Noelia Voigt, Utah. Jenna Howlett, Vermont. Ashley Williams, Virginia. Dr. Samantha Galia, Washington. Nevea Harmon, West Virginia. Alexis Lumens, Wisconsin. Beck Bridger, Wyoming. Please welcome our hosts for the Miss USA preliminary competition, Miss USA 2022, Morgan Romano, and from The Bachelorette, Jordan Kimball. Hello and welcome to the Grand Theater at the Grand Sierra Resort in Reno, Tahoe, Nevada. Give it up for our 51 contestants wearing Porsche and Scarlet dresses. I definitely don't envy the decision the judges have to make to cut this field down to 20. Well, the contestants still have the swimwear and evening gown rounds to make an impression. What should their strategy be? Jordan, I think the judges are looking for charisma and confidence, so the girls just need to go out there and own it and be themselves and have fun. It sounds like they're gonna bring it. In the past 72 years, the Miss USA competition has gone through the same sweeping evolutionary changes as the USA itself. This year, we welcome a profound and positive change in leadership as founder of Layla Rose Couture and member of the U.S. National Committee for UN Women, Layla Rose takes the reins as president and CEO of Miss USA and Miss Teen USA. Let's meet Layla Rose. While many people resist change tonight, we're embracing it. As the new president and CEO of Miss USA and Miss Teen USA, we are going to continue growing these programs and championing these confident young women. Tonight, we will meet visionaries in philanthropy, education, and positivity. We know that all women have unique strengths, goals, and desires, and they will use their voices for causes that speak to their hearts. We will inspire young leaders to go beyond their potential, push out of their comfort zones, and turn dreams into reality. Our goal is to inspire all women to explore their beliefs and continue to preserve integrity along the way. Today's young woman writes her own story, creating a positive impact for the world. Change is inevitable for growth, for success, and most definitely for development, not only for oneself, but for all who earn the Miss USA and Miss Teen USA crowns. Thank you, Layla. Miss USA is clearly in great hands. As we mentioned, tonight's preliminary performance is where the judges cut our field from 51 down to 20. So let's meet the judges who have to make that really tough decision. Model, philanthropist, and entrepreneur, Amina Kanmalujaj Nazarian. Fashion designer and businesswoman, Nicole Miller. Actress, director, producer, and entrepreneur, Vivica A. Fox. Beauty entrepreneur and founder of One Size Beauty, Patrick Starr. And finally, television personality and cabaret performer, Countess Luann De La Seps. Now it's time for one of the most iconic rounds in the Miss USA competition, the swimwear competition. Plus, the playing field is even as all of the contestants are wearing the same swimwear from Emma Saval. And now let's take a look at all 51 of our contestants in the swimwear competition where confidence is the name of the game. Let's bring out group one. Alabama, 
Alabama is a successful entrepreneur who filmed her first wedding at the age of just 15 and filmed 18 weddings last summer. She teaches others how to be the entrepreneur of their life and shine from the inside out. It's Alabama. Alaska. Alaska is a 25 year old who spends her summers hiking the endless trails, fishing the Russian River, and soaking up every second of the midnight sun in Anchorage, Alaska. Always on the hunt for the next adventure, it's Alaska. Arizona. Arizona is 27 years old, a proud Japanese American whose dedication extends beyond her role in law enforcement as she actively contributes to building a society where women feel empowered, secure, and capable through her initiative, Yes, She Can. It's Arizona. Arkansas. Arkansas is a kindergarten teacher who works hard to create a culture for learning and acceptance in her classroom. When she is not teaching, you can find her crafting or taking hikes in the beautiful trails with her two pups, Bella and Luna. It's Arkansas. California. California is a 28 year old. She is a Sergeant in the Army National Guard serving her community, hoping to provide support and encouragement for families in need. She has an artistic eye and loves to sketch creative fashion designs. She's California. Colorado. Colorado is a model, actress, writer, and producer. With a passion for mentoring teens, she volunteers with NAMI as a helpline specialist providing mental health resources for those in need. In 2019, she established her foundation, AJL Teen Mentorship. It's Colorado. Connecticut. Connecticut is fluent in English, Spanish, and French, and is an advocate for health in all of its dimensions, working closely with the American Heart Association, Alzheimer's Association, and American Cancer Society, among several other organizations. She has received numerous awards for her academic and philanthropic work. It's Connecticut. Delaware is a 25 year old who partners with the largest healthcare providers in the country, specializing in destigmatizing substance use recovery. She became a published author of two books at 16, and it's her life's purpose to give others permission to think, be, and achieve big. It's Delaware! District of Columbia. District of Columbia is the founder of Cancer Collections, a panelist series that promotes cancer awareness. She works as a digital press secretary in the U.S. House of Representatives and proudly advocated for the Find It Early Act. She's District of Columbia. Florida is a 25-year-old who has a passion and dedication for public service and traveling. She's traveled to nine different countries throughout her life and has earned her degrees in communications and digital media studies and a Juris Master from the College of Law. Florida! Show some love for our first group. group of young ladies.
Let's bring out group number two. Georgia. Georgia embarked on her entrepreneurial journey at 16, becoming a full-time content creator and later fulfilling her dream of launching Shop 8.14, her online clothing boutique. She initiated hashtag influencer IRL, promoting self-confidence, mental health awareness, and entrepreneurship. Georgia. Hawaii. Hawaii is a model, entrepreneur, and program director for What Makes You Feel Beautiful, a nonprofit organization that is based in Maui. She also dedicates her time to facilitating the First Love Yourself Fly youth program, which empowers young women to develop self-love, confidence, and compassion. She's Hawaii. is a 28-year-old aspiring beauty startup founder who created her nonprofit Project Idaho to share suicide prevention education and resources based on her experience volunteering for a crisis hotline. She enjoys skiing in Sun Valley and rafting the Salmon River with family. She's Idaho! Illinois. Illinois spent most of her summers traveling to goat shows and has been riding horses since she was just three days old. At the age of eight, she rescued her beloved horse, Rosa Bell, from the kill pen. After pursuing a master's of accounting, she eventually became an FBI forensic accountant. She's Illinois. Indiana. Indiana is a proud Native American sports broadcaster representing Indiana in honor of her mother, Susan, who passed away from cancer in December 2020. Her grief support platform helps those learn how to grieve healthily and at their own pace in a world where loss has been so prevalent the past few years. Indiana! Iowa! Iowa is a huge bookworm, and her love of reading led to the creation of her platform, Read to Succeed. Today, she's traveled more than 30,000 miles and worked with more than 5,000 students across multiple states, presenting literacy programming for kids in rural and low-income communities. She's Iowa. Kansas. Kansas is committed to her academics and is simultaneously pursuing her Doctor of Pharmacy and MBA from the University of Kansas. She dedicates her time to various campus organizations, including her roles as a pharmacy school ambassador. She enjoys mentoring young women and encouraging them to become strong leaders. Kansas! Kentucky! Kentucky has written a new story for her life after being pushed into adulthood at the early age of 13 to help raise her siblings after her mother passed from an overdose, often wishing for resources and a leader to step in and help her. She is committed to filling that gap by working as a mentor and spokesperson for various organizations. She's Kentucky. Louisiana. Louisiana is a 28 year old who is passionate about advocating for early detection and screenings for cancer and memory of her father. She enjoys singing the national anthem at events, playing the piano, and joy riding with her dogs, Sailor and Spanky. Louisiana. Maine. Maine's family connection to Alzheimer's disease ignited her passion to find a cure. She serves as a community educator, speaking about Alzheimer's disease and prevention. She is making history as the first married woman to compete in Miss USA. It's Maine. Let's hear it for all of the beautiful ladies in group number two.
Thank you for all the love and support for this group. Let's start with our third group. Marilyn. Marilyn is the co-founder of the nonprofit Daughters Pride Foundation, serving families impacted by poverty. She is an ambassador for Icing Smiles that helps create memories for children facing critical illnesses through delivering celebration cakes. Her dedication to philanthropic work is a direct result of being raised in a third world country. She's Marilyn. Massachusetts. Massachusetts is a 22-year-old former figure skater and cross-country runner who loves to stay active and live a healthy and balanced lifestyle. As the first Indian American Miss Massachusetts USA, she hopes to inspire the next generation to be proud of their diversity and go after their dreams no matter what. She's Massachusetts. Michigan. Michigan is a 23-year-old who plans to apply to med school after her reign. She lost her father to gun violence at the age of eight and is now passionate about sharing her story with at-risk kids in Michigan, encouraging them to overcome their adversities. She loves reading, watching 90s movies, and traveling. That's Michigan. Minnesota. Minnesota embraces travel to explore cultures and meet new people. Her hobbies include golf, running, camping, and exercise. She cherishes childhood memories of horseback riding and competition dancing and enjoys the Minnesota outdoors. Minnesota! Mississippi. Mississippi is a 24-year-old graduate student finalizing her Doctor of Pharmacy degree and believes health is wealth. So she launched a health literacy platform to educate people on holistic strategies that can go hand in hand with healthcare. She's Mississippi. Missouri. Missouri is the founder of the Flawless Movement. She provides resources for students to become career ready and tech savvy. She loves exploring downtown KC with her rescue dog and discovering new coffee shops and restaurants with her loved ones. She also enjoys a good sweat at bar and yoga classes. She's Missouri. Montana. Montana is passionate about leadership, empowerment, and community. She is known for her ability to work effectively with people and connect them to issues, opportunities, and each other. She enjoys the outdoors and can be found hiking in Glacier National Park and boating on the Flathead Lake. She's Montana. Nebraska. Nebraska's primary goal is to make a difference in children's lives through dance. To accomplish that, she founded her nonprofit, Project Believe and Achieve, that helps children to unlock their full potential. She's continuing to expand her nonprofit and implement her program, Dance and Develop, throughout Nebraska and the country. She is Nebraska. Nevada. Nevada is a 28-year-old with a bachelor's in chemical engineering and minor in mathematics, chemistry, and bioprocessing engineering. Her mission is to encourage women to pursue STEM and male-dominated fields. She considers herself a bookworm and has a home library with over 300 books. She's Nevada. New Hampshire. New Hampshire has her master's degree in social work, specifically working with low-income families who have experienced trauma. She is an avid Boston Red Sox fan and loves to hike the mountains of New Hampshire. New Hampshire. That's our third group. Folks, make some noise.
next round of ladies. Starting with New Jersey. New Jersey is a Nigerian American woman in finance who works with the global investment strategy team at JP Morgan Private Bank in New York City. She believes in living a limitless life filled with purpose to elevate others. Her mission is for schools in all 50 states to require financial education. New Jersey. New Mexico. New Mexico. Often people are surprised to know that she is licensed to perform a wedding ceremony. She creates hygiene care packages for the homeless and dresses up as a Disney character to uplift youth around her community. She's New Mexico. New York. New York. As a survivor of sexual assault, her charitable work with the RAIN organization is near and dear to her heart. Her life ambition is to establish a foundation to support fellow survivors and people struggling with mental health. She's New York. North Carolina. North Carolina has a deep admiration for self-development and helping others find their divine purpose in life through her campaign of soul approval. She has a passion for empowering women in healthcare and the corporate world. She is North Carolina. North Dakota. North Dakota is a proud first-generation Kenyan-American who has chosen to wear her kinky afro with pride, along with other protective styles to show the beauty and diversity of black women's hair. She is making it her mission to guide her state towards the passage of the Crown Act, which stands for creating a respectful and open world for natural hair, prohibiting race-based hair discrimination. She is North Dakota. Ohio. Ohio is equipped with her master's degree and a passion for reshaping outdated misconceptions of health and beauty. She loves coaching her Doberman Pinscher, Rogue, and canine sports, equestrian riding, snowboarding, wakeboarding, and cruising on her motorcycle. She's Ohio. Oklahoma. Oklahoma is a broadcast journalism student whose platform, Live It Well, aims to inspire others to know their worth. She's an avid music fan and enjoys writing song lyrics and poetry. She's Oklahoma. Oregon. Oregon dreamt about becoming an astronaut at a young age and has worked at two NASA centers on the Orion spacecraft. She is now a scientist astronaut candidate and just published her first children's book, You Can Be All the Things You Want to Be, to inspire kids to dream big. She's Oregon. Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania is a graduate of Immaculata University and a proud woman in tech. She loves the gym, traveling, especially the beach, trying new restaurants, and spending quality time with her family and dogs, Kingston and Kimber. Her ultimate goal is to make sure others feel seen, heard, and valued in this world. Pennsylvania. Rhode Island. Rhode Island is a graduate from Emerson College. She is a certified crisis counselor with the, Christ line, with the Crisis Text Line. She helps connect people who are in active crisis with life-saving resources. Mary wrote and published a children's coloring book titled Millie's Many Emotions. She is Rhode Island. The ladies are looking so good. Let's give a big round of applause to this group.
Make some noise, folks. What a stunning group. Now it's time for the last group for the swimwear competition. South Carolina. South Carolina graduated magna cum laude with degrees in political science and women's leadership, minoring in nonprofit leadership. She enjoys mentoring young girls by volunteering for the nonprofit girls on the run. In her spare time, you can find her flying airplanes. She's South Carolina. South Dakota. South Dakota is currently shaping her legal career at Georgetown Law. She embodies the spirit of the wild, calling herself a cowgirl politico. She envisions a life dedicated to public service and her sights are set on empowering other women to seek leadership positions and create tangible change. She's South Dakota. Tennessee. Tennessee received her bachelor's in business administration and minor in graphic design from the University of Southern Mississippi. Prior to earning her title, she competed for seven consecutive years. Her time as a competitor brought with it pride, poise, and passion to effectively carry out the role of not only Miss Tennessee USA, but Miss USA. It's Tennessee. Texas, originally from Columbia, immigrated to the U.S. at age five and settled in Texas where she earned a bachelor's in business finance, partnering with the various ALS associations. Her mission revolves around sharing her narrative of grit and perseverance. She aims to bring hope and determination, encouraging individuals to pursue their aspirations in spite of adversities. Texas! Utah. Utah has championed dating violence awareness and prevention for six years alongside the One Love Foundation educating over a thousand students nationwide about healthy and unhealthy relationships. As the daughter of a Venezuelan immigrant, immigration rights are her first priority. She is also a published children's book author. She's Utah. Vermont is a hairstylist and esthetician. At the age of 18, she opened her business, Redhead Beauty. She is an annual volunteer for Green Up Vermont, assisting in collecting donations for flood relief to dairy farmers and established a little free library in her hometown. She is also a proud fourth generation farmer who loves tractor poles and high fashions. She's Vermont. Virginia. Virginia made history by becoming the first Caribbean American with roots in Jamaica and Turks and Caicos to be named Miss Virginia USA. Her tenure as an NFL cheerleader led to some of her favorite experiences, including traveling overseas on USO tours, performing in the 2020 Super Bowl halftime show, and skydiving with the United States Army parachute team. She's Virginia. Washington. Washington formed hashtag Girl Docs Rock to equip young women with leadership skills on the weekends. This doctor performs tooth fillings and extractions at free healthcare clinics for patients in need. She also enjoys cooking homemade Chiopino with her Italian family. She's Washington. West Virginia. West Virginia is a pre-med student at Marshall University studying biochemistry. Her mission as the representative of her state is to inspire women and girls to dream bigger and to lead without fear. As a black and Filipino woman and in STEM, she finds it imperative to show our youth to look within for their confidence and strength. It's West Virginia. Wisconsin. Wisconsin is a 21-year-old actively engaging in charitable endeavors. She founded Catwalk for a Cause in 2017, hosting fashion show fundraisers for the American Family Children's Hospital. Having represented Wisconsin at Miss Teen USA at age 15, her life's message centers on defying age-based limitations. She is Wisconsin. 
Wyoming. Wyoming was blessed with the gift of adoption at birth and is a 27-year-old sergeant in the Wyoming Army National Guard who founded the Warrior Woman Project, a platform created to advocate for women entering the U.S. military. She works for a global nonprofit organization, Bought Beautifully, that works to create fair working wages for women around the world who've overcome human trafficking and domestic violence. She is Wyoming. And that is it for the swimwear competition. Let's hear a big round of applause for all of these ladies. Don't they look so beautiful? And I know that they all worked so hard for this moment. Wow, to me, they all looked incredible. How on earth did the judges pick 19 out of that amazing group of women? That is going to be very tough, and I definitely don't envy that panel of judges, but we're gonna have to wait for the live show Friday to find out. So stunning. Can we get a little more round of applause for this group of women? Such a phenomenal group. Yeah, and I, I did swimsuit last year, and I know that that's not an easy thing. My legs were shaking, so I'm so proud of them. They all looked amazing. And give a big round of applause for that absolutely stunning Emma Saval swimwear. That was all hand-painted for them, and it was absolutely stunning. Let's hear it, folks. I can't wait for tomorrow. It's going to be incredible. I can't wait either. All right, well, it's time for my favorite phase of competition, the evening gown competition. Unlike swimwear, this time the contestants will get to choose their own evening gown. Okay, here we go, because it starts right now. Alabama. Alaska. Arizona. Arkansas. California. Colorado. 
Connecticut. District of Columbia. Georgia. Illinois.
Indiana. Kansas. Louisiana. Let them know how much you love them. Group two for evening gown. Don't they just make you want to say USA? Make some noise, folks. Group three. Starting with Maryland. Michigan. 
Minnesota. Mississippi. Nebraska. Nevada. Let's take a look at group four. Starting with New Jersey.
New Mexico. again. dresses an amazing young woman with group four please make some noise show love and support what a wonderful group
Let's hear it for group four one more time. And now on to our final group, starting with South Carolina. South Dakota. Tennessee. Virginia. Washington. West Virginia. Wisconsin.
Wyoming. Make some noise for your final group in the evening gown competition. Let's hear it, folks. Let's make some final competition noise. Don't these ladies look so, so beautiful? That's my favorite part of the competition for a reason. <laughs> Folks, do these, do these young ladies look beautiful? What do you think? All right, on the count of three, everyone yell out which state you want to be Miss USA 2023. Well, you guys did not let anybody count down from three. But I love it. I love the initiative. If you were going to take initiative, this was the time. What a crowd. What a beautiful evening. Beautiful gowns, beautiful young ladies. Let's welcome all back to the stage now. We want to thank all of our 51 contestants. These young women are about to accomplish so much in their lives. And this is just the beginning. They worked so hard to get to this moment. Morgan, you went through this last year. How do you feel about this? What was going through your mind? What are these ladies feeling right now? So many girls dream about this moment, competing on the Miss USA stage for their whole life. So I just want all of these ladies to remember that they just achieved a huge goal and to just relish in that. Absolutely. What an amazing night. What an amazing night. Congratulations to all of our contestants. Don't forget to catch Miss USA live on the CW tomorrow at 8 p.m. Good night. Good night.